So my first night, knock, knock. And I'm in my office and knock, knock. What do I do? Knock, knock, are you there? I open the door and there's a young female. How may I help you? She explains that she needs a key to the pantry. And I'm like, why? Why do you need a key to the pantry? I'm here to help. How can I help you? She explained that she needed a pad. I said, you don't need to go to the pantry for a pad. We have college rule. We have wide rule. We even have a pad that has inspirational quotes. She looked at me strange, embarrassed. And then she whispered, she was like, a tampon, pad. Oh, yes. I should have known that, right? Yes, yes. We both laughed as I stumbled over my words and was so eager to assist. She cut me some slack and she asked, could we talk? As a licensed clinician, I understood the power of just listening. I encouraged her to talk and I just listened. I did not judge, I listened. I did not assume, I listened. And allowed her an opportunity to just talk and be heard. Many nights, the women would crowd around the table and talk about their situations, and we would all just laugh. Odd, I know. Why would anyone laugh about an abusive situation? Because laughter is medicine, and there is power in laughter. These women would share their story of for the first time in raw form and express how good it felt to just laugh after so many years of crying. There would be some nights when I would have an individual listening session and remind women that they can do it, and it was anything they were told they could not do. I would receive thank you letters from residents who left the shelter. They would highlight how safe and sound saved their life. How every single staff that, that, that were present interacted with them, listened to the problems. How the shelter did not resemble your stereotypical shelter but how it was a home, a home where the blinds are opened up every morning, a place where you are not to judge, a place where you can go shopping and you don't have to explain yourself, you can buy whatever you want, a place where your children can play with other children and you can sit down with the caseworker and talk about stabilization, talk about building a bridge Define what will normalcy mean for your children and your family. It was observing moments like these when I knew that it would take a community of supportive and encouraging men like myself to work alongside the many courageous women working on the front lines to call attention to the long-term traumatic effect intimate partner violence has on individuals and families which sometimes last generations. 